Hi guys, welcome to another uh, tutorial on IT.tutorials. Uh, I am Josef uh, Botnar. In this uh, video tutorial, I'm going uh, to place uh, the buttons inside uh, this uh, group box uh, of uh, this uh, form student. Uh, these uh, buttons are going to be used uh, to process the personal data of uh, the students, uh, which uh, is done here on the uh, right uh, side uh, using uh, these uh, controls to collect uh, the student personal uh, data. So let's do so. Uh, I'm going to drag uh, here inside this uh, group box uh, named processing a button. Uh, let's make this button uh, bigger. All right. And higher. Okay. I think now it's okay. I'm going to launch the properties uh, window. Let's change the name. This button is going to be the new uh, button. So uh, it's going to be used uh, to add uh, new data. OK. I'm going to change the font here. Uh, this is OK. Verdana, bold. All right. 11. Uh, it's OK. So uh, this is fine. I'm not going to change anything. Uh, regard to this uh, font uh, of this button. Okay, I'm going to change the back color instead of it. Uh, I'm going to go to the main uh, form and I'm going to copy the back color of this uh, panel. I mean this uh, series of uh, three numbers. Okay, which represent uh, ex uh, actually the RGB. Uh, copy with Ctrl C, go back uh, to student form, release the properties window and uh, place here uh, where is uh, the value of this uh, back color with uh, Ctrl V, uh, paste uh, these uh, three uh, series of numbers. Yeah, okay, enter and here you go. The back color was changed as you can see. Let's change the four color as well because the black uh, color doesn't uh, suit uh, this uh, purple color, actually. Go to Custom and select the white. Yeah, now the color uh, suits the back color. It looks uh, much better. All right, uh, let's uh, bring uh, an image for this button. Yeah, local uh, resource, import. So here you go. I'm going to bring this image for a new button. All right, let's uh, align the image. Middle left. Yeah, it looks uh, okay. And I'm going to align the text uh, as well to right. Middle right. Yeah, it's okay. Good. And let's. Uh, write a name for this uh, button uh, which I'm going to use it inside the code btn uh, new all right good so let's copy this uh, button another uh, four times and uh, paste it uh, another four times one two three Four. All right. Good. And good. So I'm going to set the properties for the next button. So I'm going to change the name used inside the code. Uh, and this button is going to be uh, the save button. Yeah. All right. What I forget, uh, I want to make uh, all this button flat. All right, so let's make it flat. Uh, so let's select all of them. Uh, let's change here to flat. All right, so let's go to the next button here. Okay, let's uh, bring another 
image use for uh, save so this one is going to be appropriate yeah all right and here let's change the name of this the text of this button save yeah and this button is going to be used uh, to update the data the student data update all right let's bring an image for it this one is going to be suitable all right let's change the name used inside the code uh, btn update new another button yeah i'm gonna to write the text first this button is going to be used to delete the data yeah let's bring an image for this uh, this bin this trash will be suitable i think for a delete of a button and i go here up and change the name for uh, this button used inside the code bt and delete all right okay and uh, i get to the last button let's change first the text data so this button is going to be used uh, to bring uh, personal data of the students all right Let's bring the image. I think this one is suitable. Yeah. Okay. Let's change the name. BTN uh, data. Okay. Uh, I want to make uh, this. Uh, radio button for the female to be checked to be ticked so i'm gonna go here where it is checked and change uh, false uh, with true that means uh, when this uh, form uh, will be launched uh, this radio button will be checked uh, automatically all right uh, <clears throat> so that's uh, all for today uh, for now um, so uh, I uh, designed, I placed and designed these uh, buttons that used to process uh, the student personal data, to add uh, new data, to save the data, to update the data, to delete and uh, to bring uh, upfront the data. Let's release this application and let's see how this uh, student form uh, looks. All right, so let's uh, release the student uh, form. Here you go it looks good in my opinion everything is fine so uh, this is the it seems for me here uh, this uh, group box uh, is a bit higher than the personal data so i should fix this to be on the same uh, level um, actually except uh, apart of this uh, uh, i think this form uh, looks uh, great yeah and uh, let's fix uh, that let's close this and okay now i think it's all right yeah okay let's save it okay that's all for uh, today thank you for watching this video tutorial and i'm waiting for you to watch my other video tutorial see you next time bye bye